All right, y'all. I was trolling with Judge Joe Brown. Not actually trolling, but just trying to get get a feel for being, you know, being live and just trying to, you know, trying to trying to just see how it feels. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I was I was scared as hell. I was nervous. Check me out. How you doing, the Honorable Judge Joe Brown? How are you, sir? I'm doing fine. Um, I heard you guys talking about reparations. And I just think we as blacks, I think we're too profitable. I think we're profitable. They're, sorry, I think that they profit, profit off, of, off of us by us being on the bottom. And uh, I don't think I don't think they, gonna, they don't respect us enough to give us anything. Because we sell out. I think That's right. Out. I mean, we just sold out to the point to where they don't respect us. And why would you, why would you give a sellout anything? That's right. Have, so, so, it's basically what I have to say. We have a feedback, Judge. What's that? We have a feedback. Well, I mean, I'm still sitting in the same place I was before. Okay, you're fine. Maybe it's your call. Well, what was the call is exactly right. See, we don't count. We are not a viable commodity for the Democratic Party. The Republicans look at us, well, black folk aren't going to like to go to Republicans. Let's see what they do. So nobody is uh, prone to give to exchange benefits for our votes because they can count on their Negroes going out and voting for the plantations. And the gays get the benefit. All of the black caucus and all of these colored representatives we've got that go out talk about black votes for them and when you vote for them we can get crap out of the lgbtq crowd gets it so then we got to take control and what i would suggest is a political science technique i learned about 50 years ago 50 plus years ago is surprise a party that has gotten too confident in your support and vote against them even if you have to hold your nose to do it that way they will miss their water when the well runs dry. Right. And I mean Did you want to say something else, Paula? Yeah, I just I just think we're we're spread too thin. I think it's just we have too many movements and it's just uh like I said, we, we just sold down to the point to uh, to where we I mean there's no return. We can't there's nothing we can do. I mean we have too many movements and um I mean, like, we have the gay movement, we have uh, we have the women movement, and, I mean, why can't we all just work as one? And it's just, and, and, and the white, the white establishment, they look at us like, hey, they got too many movements that we're trying to be, we're trying to be like them. Well, yeah. That's the main problem. Okay. And we don't, let, we let don't me. have a culture. We don't have a culture, and they know it. So how can they respect somebody with no culture? Okay, now let me put some stuff out there that is political science reality. Okay. You can set up joint ventures with people who have common interests, even if you don't like them. Black folk need to restore families, all right? They need to deal with the paramountcy of the black man. They need to start dealing with the need for education. They need to start dealing with the need for economic viability through realistic employment opportunities. They need to deal with things in terms of prison reform and the criminal justice system needs to be reformed. We need to start reimposing the sanctity of the First Amendment so at least you can talk about something without getting cut off at the knees by somebody that controls mainstream media. Now, just ask yourself if you agree with that agenda or any other agenda, who out there might have common cause with you? But you see, we can't do it because everybody's worried about white supremacy. And quite frankly, a lot of the people that keep harping on that, that's their game. So they want you to give up hope because everything is as it is because of white supremacy. Yeah, that's a problem, but that's just adversity. We once dealt with lions, tigers, bears, cougars, uh, polar bear, uh, all sorts of things that would like to 
have us for lunch, but that was adversity and we overcame. I don't know why black people have this idea that they can't overcome adversity. And because there's adversity, you got to give up hope. That doesn't make sense to me. But isn't, 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 the, adverse, isn't the adversity the systemic system that they got built up? Well, yeah, well, but there, not to say, that's why I keep saying watch Lovecraft count country. If you want to see what it was like up until the mid-60s when militancy changed it, not civil rights, look at that series. They've got it down. I remember that stuff. And you call it. that's okay. what you look at Lovecraft country and see how it used to be in the 50s all the way up to about 1965 when black folks started burning down inner cities. And we delivered consequence. It wasn't Negroes down on their knees praying, praying to Jesus while some redneck beat them until some other rednecks felt guilty. It was ordinary black folk burning down in the cities. At that point, everybody said, oh, we got to do something. Now, we got away from that instead of saying power to the people right on and the power of this. Now the power of this has gotten co-opted by queers. Now the other, they call themselves queer, uh, queer affirming network for BLM and LGBTQ. The Q, according to them, stands for queer and questioning. So the queers have co-opted the power fist. You got people painting rainbow sidewalks and rainbow crosswalks, and not one damn red, black, and green side walking the last fifty damn years. Hey, what the hell's wrong with us? Hey, Judge, but I think I think we need to control our own destiny right now. I think yes. I think right now that I mean we need to we need to at least start some type of escrow each state independently and just I don't care if we have to get with the banks ourselves. We need to start saving some type of money. Yeah, we do. And one thing we can do to save the money is put it in a financial institution. We stop. We start instead of putting it in church collection plates. Right. Right. They have enough churches as it is. Some of them need to close down, and some of these jack leg pimp preachers need to be put out of business. Now, that's not saying there are some de- there aren't decent pimp preachers. There are a few, but too many of these pimp preachers need to be put out of business. Right. And that's where a lot of our economic development is going. If you, you look at the, if you looked at the mortgage obligations for American black churches. It is a trillion dollar industry and we aren't getting one job out of that. Not one investment penny out of that. Right. Just so you can get some place where you're too hung up to go out and have a good time on Friday night. You got to wait till Sunday where you can dress up, throw yourself all over the floor like you got the spirit when you've been squirming little fat thighs together so you can get an orgasm. Um, 804, hi. Hey, come on there. Soldier boy, do got something to say on it. Let me say something on that. The boy got thrown on breakfast. Got an echo. Got an echo. Go ahead. I agree. The boy got thrown on breakfast. The boy said what the fuck he had to say. Before he said what he had to say. We, I already got the video all over all my goddamn on goddamn platforms and shit like that. What? He doing shit like that, putting money on his head, talking about what he'll do. Yeah, 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 yeah,
throw this on Soldier Boy. Yeah. We don't know if yeah. it was Soldier Boy, if it wasn't Soldier Boy, allegedly. So it's like, it's still though, it worked to be done. So it's like, I ain't, I'm, I ain't being no fuck nigga, but damn, we gotta let the police do their job. And at the same time, we gotta pay attention to this. Yeah, and so it's gonna need to just, just be quiet, but just shut up, bro. Just, just, just don't say nothing else no more, man. Now he already done fucked up. He just dropped a song called Slump Song. Yeah, I know. Man, that so was so that was something lame ass nigga. It's almost it's almost Christmas time, y'all. That was some lame ass nigga trying to get a few dollars, riding around with his partner. They probably was already about to go ride something. Riding around with his partner in his baby mama car. She probably got up at five o'clock. That's yeah, the reason they went and hit him up with his nigga, man. Damn, damn, damn. Come on, now. Them niggas went for the gun store, they hit him on the damn car, dog. Come on, now. I know they were so good. I was telling him on this, and he was doing some balls, man. Yeah, I don't believe he was so good, but that nigga paid his book. Yeah, I ain't lying. He was like 6'9, man. He didn't see this at a damn store. But he do got enough money. He do got enough money to put it in front of a real gangster. Yeah, true. You got to think, though. You think that some people, you got to think about law enforcement, fam. They got, they got enough technology, brother. They got enough technology to zoom in to the pitch about three, four, five times, bro. They probably could see a tattoo on them niggas' face or something. They just put that out, you know what I'm saying, for the for the public, fam. These people got to be on their neighbor building, Appreciate you on the trend and uh, trend and regime, man, already, bro. Appreciate the subscription. Hey, look. Look, this is what I think, bro. I think, I think if so the way didn't do it, somebody stealing a hit out of him, bro. Nigga, they wanted to kill him. Mm-hmm. That, that made sure he was dead. They made sure he was dead. <laughs> they made sure. Show. There was a hit. Somebody, somebody put some money on his head, man. You see how close they got. Then they wanted him gone. Oh, they want big Drake though. What's good, fuck? I love Draco, man. Y'all keep giving that nigga credit for shooting niggas for running to be high, but that nigga is not the part of that game. He's a troll, man. He's a true troll. Nigga, look at Draco. He's a troll for real, for real. How we even know that nigga killed that nigga with Draco? So he's about to be all full of bullshit, man. Fuck, fuck, so. Fuck, that man was scared of the man. The man was scared of Bow Wow. How's that nigga wrong? I ain't doing music videos with the nigga. And guess what, bro? And the niggas in the, in the footage, they don't, they don't know how to shoot a gun, bro. What is that? It looked like they were shooting that. That was on the ground when they were shooting it. The little picture. It looked like they were shooting while he was on the ground. Yeah, true. I believe, I believe the nigga with the pistol got off. Where y'all talking? I believe the nigga with the handgun, that's the nigga that got off. The nigga with the Draco, Draco's an ass. I got killed, bro. And I don't need you. Bro, he didn't get killed with a Draco, bro. That's not good. Bro, that's what they all feel. Check this out, dog. Hey, 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 listen, listen, listen. Uh, we'll, just, we'll finish this discussion later, man. I got to get to my son's game. Yeah, so I wait, 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 wait. I ain't yeah, I'm going to give everybody a chance to speak before I get up out of here. Don't take long, man, because I got to go. Uh, talk to me, Shice. Uh, uh, salute me, everybody. And long live dog. I'm out. Oh, God. Long, long live dog, nigga. King, King of Mixes, you know what I'm saying? That way. Already. All right. Bet. Uh, who next? Average, man. Yo, my nigga, my nigga, who the nigga took his baby mama to ask man. Fuck everything up. Uh, talk to me, Saint. Man, you traded this motherfucker, man. I just subscribed to your channel. I'm gonna be back here fucking with you. Um, oh, really, dog. And I appreciate that, too, man. Much respect, much love to you, dog. Better look. Okay. All right. I want to say one thing, though, real quick. I will. Go ahead. I, I, I love, I love all of us, you know what I'm saying? I wish we got them to stop doing all this hateful ass shit toward one another. I really feel like we can go ringside with that shit, you know what I'm saying? Put them gloves on and oh, handle, handle, handle a whole bunch of more shit like we came up, you know what I'm saying? Putting them dukes up, all that goddamn. Um, I feel like all that talking about, oh, I ain't doing no fighting shit. That whole little wave, that, that, that 90s baby wave, talking about shoot straight, fuck fighting free shoot. I feel like that. Pussy nigga Wade. Already, Amisa, uh, thank you for the subscription. 
We need to kill that shit, though. Ooh, I love y'all. Yeah. Make sure you sub the uh, page, man. Oh, we got a lot to chop it up about, real talk. Yeah, yeah, one love. All right, bet. Talk to me, Cam. Man, yeah, what's good, man? Y'all already know, man. This Cam I'm talking with, man. I'm rocking my boy, my hair, man. Salute to Big Reed, man. I ain't gonna lie. <coughs> I'm gonna have to go live and talk about dog, goddamn. All right, Peter, uh, dog, salute to everybody in the chat. Y'all subscribe to the channel, man. Can't okay, talk too much. I'm gone. Already, dog. Uh, talk to me, super high. That's what's up, man. Everybody in the in the stream, check out JT the bigger figure. He's speaking on the situation, talking about people and rappers who put out negativity don't deserve condolences. And check out my channel, Spiritual Ventilation. Hold on real quick. While you from doing all that promoting, did you some did you subscribe to my page, Big Dog? Man, man I'm about to. <laughs> make, make sure you subscribe, bro, because I usually charge for promotion, but you know, that's all right. You know what I'm saying? For a favor, for a favor. You know what I'm saying? Uh, subscribe yeah, to the page for real, man. Uh, we do daily topics every day, man. It ain't no telling what come up out the trap over here, man. Welcome okay. in the live live, bro. Subscribe to the page for real, for real. All right, and check out that JT, the bigger figure, speaking on the subject of a young dog, man. Check it out. All right. Uh, talk to me, Big Reed. Hey, what's the deal, man? Hey, I was just checking out, man. Just checking you out, man. Salute to oh, you, man. man. Oh, respect. Goddamn me. Rest in peace, oh, dog, man. Oh, really? That's what's up. Uh, really? I'm going to get him up with you. All right, G. Uh, talk to me, Cream Pop, before we get up out of here, dog. I appreciate you for the picture, man. Uh, you, held, you held it down while, while I stepped away for a second, man. Big ups to you, man. I hope you subscribe to the page, man. Uh, real recognize real, dog. Man, make sure you come back and holler at me. Go ahead. I just want to tell everybody, man, you got to you gotta live every day like it's your last, no matter where you at, no matter what you do. Enjoy life. That's it. Already, big dog. Hey, man, I look forward to talking to you in the future, man. We got a lot of chopping up to do, man. Make sure if you didn't really subscribe, subscribe to the page, bro. Oh, I'm feeling your vibe, Chief, for real, for real. I'm in there. Already, man, that's what's up. All right, dog, I'll let you. All right, big dog. Yeah, man, uh, so really, man, you know what I'm saying, it's R.I.P. the dog, man, uh, you know they hated on us earlier, man, make sure y'all subscribe to Cam Talk Too Much, uh, my boy, uh, uh, Culture Content, make sure you subscribe to Cooling With The Crew, you know what I'm saying, uh, Runny BFH, man, uh, we all trying to get our numbers up, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and really trying to do something with this, uh, YouTube, man, uh, Make sure y'all give us a, a, a chance, man. Uh, don't let this be the only time that you come through. You know what I'm saying? Remember to hit that like button. Remember uh, to uh, subscribe to the page, man. Uh, it's still RIP, dog. That was the reason why I did what I did. You know what I'm saying? As far as uh, streaming this memorial, because I thought that was very important and there was a lot of people uh, that wouldn't be able to make it there. You know what I'm saying? So uh, shout out to y'all. Thank y'all. Uh, for rocking with me, man. I'm gonna play this one more song. Hey, man, feel feel free to light up the chat with R.I.P. Young Dogs, man. Hold on, y'all. Hello, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Yo, yo, yo. What's happening? Yo, what it do, bro? Man, what's going on, bro? No, yeah. Am I lying? Yeah, Am you lying, lying? bro. Yo, the floor is all yours, bro. What's on your mind? Okay, okay. This is what I'm gonna say, man. Look now. Takashi six nine and uh, who, who, who's the other one? Uh, Lil Nas, Takashi six nine, and Pop Smoke. Mm -hmm. I feel like they was all gonna do the same thing, but Lil Nas beat everybody to it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they all was gonna yeah. get butt naked on TV. Lil Nas was the first one to do it, huh? Yeah, Lil Nas was Lil Nas was the first one to do it. Pop Smoke got sacrificed. If you mm -hmm. know six nine. And when he was going to cross over, eventually he was going to wear a wig too. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. But, bro, this is what I understand. We we having a whole nother discussion. The first thing that come out your mouth is Lil Nas X. Ain't nobody said nothing about Lil Nas X. He ain't got nothing to do with this, but he's on your mind, brother. Why are you thinking about Lil Nas X? 
I mean, because, you know what I'm saying, you got him on the prompt, man. You got him on the TV. I ain't, you know, know I ain't, he ain't nowhere, nowhere, nowhere on the TV. Ain't nobody said nothing about Lil Nas X but you. <laughs> I'm just keeping it 100, though, man. I just feel like I had something to offer, man. I feel like it's all I wanted to say, man. So you talking about people yeah. putting on wigs and dudes wearing booty shorts. Where's this coming from? Because this video don't have nothing to do with that whatsoever. Well, they said they said y'all saying a uh, NBA young boy six nine did some little dirt. So yeah. it, I, I might be on I might be on the wrong stream. I don't know, but that's the one I got on my TV. So you just infatuated with that boy? Tell no, the truth. Don't I'm lie. It's, 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 uh, 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 Sean Blaze. All I'm saying is it's an agenda, and the, the agenda is the, the rabbit hole runs deep, man. All of this stuff got something. It's, it's all relevant. It's all relevant, my brother. Okay, let's let's run this back because maybe I'm wrong for coming at you, no homo, but okay, you saying that Lil Nas X set it off for the boys to wear the little shorts and all that. Most definitely, it's it's it's, 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 it's a nerve that they push it, and all this other stuff is a distraction. Are you distracted by that man boy shorts? I mean, it's, I feel like it's distracting our kids. You know what I'm saying? Like like yeah, he's a snitch. Uh, NBA young boy is doing a video with him, and and since he's doing a video with him, it's making people think it's okay to to, to partner up with snitches. But the the real the real narrative is these two boys is this NBA young boy might eventually wear a wig. He might eventually wear a wig, man. What hey, do you think? Yo, man, I wouldn't be surprised, man. If you're willing to work with six nine, then you might as well get on the song with Lil Nas X and put a wig on while you at it. So I see where you're coming from and all that. And yeah, don't be yeah, no stranger, man. bro. Make sure you call back whenever you feel like it. Uh -huh. Damn.